These are scenes from Iganga and Mayuge districts. The police and area local leaders engage in running battles with locals, all in the name of getting their children immunized. Globally, the number of immunizable diseases in infants has been growing from time to time. Initially, children were immunized against the six killer diseases, which included diphtheria, polio, tetanus, tuberculosis, measles, and whooping cough. In 2002, the government introduced the hepatitis B and hemophilus influenza vaccines. This brought the number of immunizable killer diseases to eight. But the discovery of new vaccines has also seen immunizable diseases further rise. Now, if you are pregnant or have a child below the age of two, your child health card will include immunization schedules for pneumococcal vaccine, human papilloma virus vaccine, chickenpox vaccine, meningitis vaccine, measles, mumps, rubella vaccine, and the rotavirus vaccine. We spoke to Dr. Miriam Apio, a pediatrician at Case Hospital, to help us understand this illness which causes death to over 10,000 children per year. Rotavirus is a viral illness. It is one of the causes of diarrhea. And by diarrhea, I mean an infectious process that occurs commonly in children. It may be bloody, it may not be bloody. When it is bloody, medically, the term we tend to refer to is um, dysentery. Children who get infected may have severe watery diarrhea, often with vomiting, fever, and abdominal pain. Vomiting and watery diarrhea can last from three to eight days. It can be even more than 10 times, and the mothers will tell you that this happens very fast. They notice this diarrhea, and the child is just passing out very, very watery stools. Sometimes you can imagine it can be more than 500 mils of stool, you know, in one go. And because of that, you tend to have um, very fast dehydration setting in that by the time the day or six to eight hours sets in they have lost so much that they're so weak they can hardly cry or if they cry then they may not even be able to have tears in their eyes they come with very dry mucous membranes sometimes when you pinch their skins especially the skin of their stomachs you find that just a pinch it is so slow it is almost not able to go back because of the dehydration that they experience, then it may also be associated with things like um, abdominal swelling. The fact that the illness is a viral disease means that the vaccine is only a preventive measure. However, it can reoccur due to poor hygiene. Dr. Apio says vaccinated children will get mild effects. This infection can be very severe, very severe, and can account for almost six to eight days of hospital stay. There is no specific medicine to treat rotavirus infection once you catch it. But your doctor may recommend medicines to treat symptoms. One of the biggest things about managing is fluids, fluids, fluids. Oral rehydration is simply a combination of salt and uh, sugar that has been mixed in a, a certain ratio to enable mothers be able to utilize it to manage diarrhea because it provides other electrolytes that are quite necessary for management of diarrhea. Such challenges in the healthcare system are the reasons developing countries have failed to achieve global health targets set in the Sustainable Development Goals. Sustainable Goal 3 implores subscribing countries to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. This incorporates supporting the research and development of vaccines and medicines for the communicable and non-communicable diseases that primarily affect developing countries, provide access to affordable essential medicines and vaccines. Walter Mwesije, NTV.